Hi. So I was talking with someone this week who had overheard a conversation by a group of people who were obviously at least the majority non-Christians. And they were talking about Christians and Christianity. I wonder if you have an idea of how that conversation went. Sadly, too often, people's impressions of Christian and Christianity are ones of hatred, of being anti-this, anti-that, hating this, hating that, of being judgy. Sadly, too often that impression is gained by people's experience or, of course, by listening to the voices who get the most airtime in the media. They aren't always really reflective of what Christianity is about. See, Christians are people who follow Christ. And so our lives and our words are meant to be reflective of the words and life of this guy, Jesus. And I don't think there is anyone who has lived a life so contrasting to being anti-this, anti-that, filled with hate and judgment, than this guy Jesus, because his life, his words, his actions were filled with love and grace. In fact, he got in trouble with the culture and the authorities of the day because his life was so filled with love and grace, the opposite of hatred, condemnation, judgment, anti-this, anti-that. In fact, what Jesus spoke against the most were people who put others down, people who lived lives filled with hatred and judgment. Jesus spoke against them. So what do you do if you are a Christian and you're in amongst those sorts of conversations? The first thing that I'm going to say you should do is shut up. Listen, don't feel like you need to jump in and say what you want to say. Be quiet. Listen to what people are saying, recognize that this is an opportunity to truly hear what other people are thinking and feeling. Such a great opportunity. Just be quiet and listen. Ask yourself, are these people you know and know well? Because if they're not, you probably haven't earned the right to put your opinion in anyway. And if you do and you get an opportunity to, make sure it's gentle. And if this is a group of people who you know and you mix with, recognize that by listening, you will not lose the opportunity for a conversation like this to happen again, but you are more more likely to gain the opportunity for this conversation to happen again another time and you will have shown that you aren't judgy by the fact that you spent your time listening. I don't mean that what you should do is just pretend that you don't stand for what you stand for. I mean actually just spend some time listening to what other people's opinions are. And then go away and think on it, reflect on it, ask yourself Is that true, what they were saying? And does your life and your words show a different way than what they're saying? 
I mean, I don't mean to say that there won't be people who have a very positive experience of Christians and Christianity because I know and you know that there are so many people who are Christians out there who are doing incredible things filled with love and grace. It's just that so often they're not the ones that we're hearing because they're too busy actually putting their love into action. But if you have heard words that are maybe condemning of Christians and Christianity, that reflect an experience of Christians and Christianity that is less than love and grace, then go away and think about it and make sure that your life is showing a different version of Christianity. That the people around you will recognize that your form of Christianity is different to what they're hearing in the media. That your form of Christianity is one that shows the way of Jesus. A way of love, of grace, of mercy. Do that first. Then you will earn the right for the next conversation.